Hi guys, okay, so the director of the business or your branch manager has just informed you that you're gonna to have to now use this other tool to put your valuations into as well as your extension software. Another piece of work that you've got to do every day on top of the millions of other things that you've got to do in the office. So just wanted to try to give you some sort of context as to why they thought this was a good idea and how it's gonna actually help you to do your job better, hit your targets and ultimately earn more money. So before we start, I'll just give you a bit of background on who I am um, so that you can have some sort of trust in the, in the idea that we kind of know what we're doing. My name is Mark Burgess. I'm the CEO of a company called Iceberg Digital. Um, I've got around 20 years experience of building up different businesses in the property and the marketing sector. I wrote a book called Where Did My Industry Go? which was all about how traditional estate agents can move over into a more digital world and stand out and scale up their businesses. It went on to be number two um, business book in the world, was a bestseller in four different categories on Amazon. Iceberg only specialise in estate agency and we've been doing that for the past nine years, um, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, we've won various different awards. As I say, in this video, I just want to try to help you understand why this tool is going to be awesome for you as a person and for the business. So first of all, before I explain the actual tool, this isn't a training session, you'll get that separately. Just want to give you a bit of a background between interruption and content-based marketing and why that's important for you to understand. If you go back pre-internet, so let's go back into the 90s and even time before that, the companies that I built up during that time and, and all other successful businesses were all based on something called interruption-based marketing. So the idea is that you uh, create a leaflet or you create an advert for, the, for uh, TV shows or you create an advert to put inside magazines. But ultimately, what it is, is this, this advert will interrupt what somebody's doing. So they're going in and out of their house, you're interrupting with your leaflet, same with the TV show, same with the magazines. It was actually quite useful for people because they didn't really have any other way of finding out information about things that were going on in their area or special offers or that sort of thing. So it wasn't that annoying to people. As time's gone on, what's happened is the, the internet, Google specifically, has made it so that if I want to find something out, I can just type it into Google. So I don't need your leaflet. If I want to watch a TV show, I download it or I record it. I don't have to be home at nine o'clock to watch it. So I skip the ads. So it's got to the stage now where even if you want to watch a YouTube video and you have to wait five seconds to skip the advert, it becomes annoying. What's happened is the power of interruption-based marketing started to drop off a bit of a cliff. Companies started to invest in something called content-based marketing. And content-based marketing is based on the 1174 theory. So there's a lot of research that shows that even husbands and wives and best friends, but primarily businesses, sell to people on the basis that they either spend seven hours with that person or with that brand's videos or content or in their company, have 11 touch points or meet them in four different locations. If you put that into context of maybe going to the gym and you're on the treadmill and you're running and then some guy who's really fit gets on the treadmill next year and you sort of think, oh God, now I feel like I'm on trial. Um, and then the next time you go to the gym, the guy gets on the treadmill again and you think, oh, it's that guy again. And then the next time you go, you sort of like, mm, you know, smile at each other. By the fourth or the fifth time that you meet that person, you're probably saying hello. And if you found out that he was a, an estate agent that was out of work at the moment, you'd probably give him a job. So people start to, you find that even, as I say, best friends and, and marriages, they, these people disagree about some fundamental things in life, but they've spent a certain amount of time with each other, so they, they actually die for each other. And brands that cotton onto that realise that actually it's not all about selling to people, it's about building loyalty and relationships over a period of time. So content-based marketing, the idea is that you've got this tiny little active market in the middle, and they're the people that are currently estate agents are trying to target with their flyers. They're saying, uh, if you're thinking of selling your property this month, 10% off of our fees. They spread it as wide as possible, and hopefully they'll find three or four people that are in the active market and will phone them up, and the agent will go, well, that was a success. But if their area's got 50,000 people in it, there's 47,000 people that just got annoyed by their leaflet. Content-based marketing talks to the 47,000 people that own a home and says, here's five tips on how to increase the value of your property by 5%. Here's four ways to settle your child into a new school. Here's the three biggest mistakes someone makes when building an extension. And what happens is those people read that content. There's no sale attached to it. It doesn't say, and if you want a free evaluation, contact us. It's just useful, engaging, educational or entertaining content that this person reads. And they start moving towards having spent seven hours in, in contact with your brand. 
So content-based marketing has become bigger and bigger and bigger for those companies that capture the, the biggest share of the market because what they do is they start marketing to people at a point in time when by, whereby they're not even thinking about using an estate agent, but they're actually starting to become loyal to your business already. So with social media and print, you can start to push this content in front of the right people so that they start reading your content. And there's no sale attached, there's no strings attached, it's just useful content for them. Over time, they start to become loyal to your business. When they do move into the active market, that's the point whereby they already know that they want to use you. So they're already pre-sold. It, it works in the same way as if you get a referral from somebody. If you get a referral from somebody, you haven't got to negotiate on your fees. They're pre-sold. This is the same sort of thing. This person already knows that they want to use you. You haven't got to negotiate on your fees. Putting a content marketing loop in place, you know, Iceberg has a whole suite of products that clients use to create that entire loop or to fill the gaps that they don't currently have covered at the moment. But putting that whole loop in place from, from the word go is it's like asking someone to marry you on the first date. It's just too much to take on. Uh, we have, don't get me wrong, I speak to clients all the time who say to me, I want the whole lot. It's just not possible. You know, the, the, it will end in disaster. You'll, they'll pay the invoices that are required. But we won't be able to get it all up and running and have everybody understand it in time. And so therefore it'll just end up in a mess. Again, a bit like asking someone to marry you on the first date. What we do with agents is we break it down into levels so that we can give them something where they can dip their toe into this world of marketing automation and content marketing without having to remortgage their house to do so. And then they can see if they like that. And if they do, then they can build upon that a bit like Lego. They can slot things on top of it and on top of it and on top of it to eventually, if they want to, they have this entire content marketing loop in place and the business now has a fully full structure on how they get short, medium and long-term leads and turn them over into customers, whether the director's in the office or out the office, on holiday, change of staff, the processes are in place. So at level one, what we do with our clients is we just focus on a better conversion rate from valuation to instruction. And that's the only thing that we focus in on. And how we do that is at the moment, most agents, uh, their process is they go out on a valuation, they send the homeowner a letter telling them the value of, that they think the property is worth, and then they put them into a 1 to 31 uh, callback system whereby they'll call this person regularly to ask them if they're ready to put their house on the market. From what I've said before, you can see why this is kind of futile because you, you haven't had 11 touch points, you haven't spent seven hours with them, you haven't met them in four different locations, you kind of just annoying them and they'll make their choice based on fees. What happens with our system? is that when the valuer comes back from the valuation, they put the details into one of our tools, which is called BAIT. Um, so they enter into this, this, this tool, what they valued the property at, the vendor's name, their email address, the physical address of the property, basic information, takes about five minutes. What that does is it builds this a nice looking web page, all in the company colors and brand, all about the property, all about why they should use you, what you valued the house at, all looks very professional. It sends the vendor an email saying, Thanks for having us around to value your property. Click here to view your full market appraisal report. The vendor clicks to look at it. The website's all responsive, so it'll work on a phone or a tablet or a desktop. And they get through and they look at it and they think, yeah, very professional, looks a lot better than a lot of the other agents who were just sending me a letter. What actually happens from your perspective is that the vendor gets pulled into our marketing automation system, which is called Fragra. So two things happen. The first is that whenever the vendor is now looking at their market appraisal report or any page on your website, or any content in a blog that we build for you, the valuer will receive an instant notification through saying, Mark Burgess, whose house you valued on this date at this address is currently on your website reading the About Us page. So your valuers are always in the right place at the right time, whether it's been two hours, two days, two weeks, two years, to follow up with that person because they know it's on their mind. And um, so they never really have to make random phone calls anymore. They can just phone these people when they know that they're looking at this stuff. The other thing that happens, which is probably more important, is that the vendor goes into a pre-built email nurture journey. So based on the status of the market appraisal, um, by default when you send that market appraisal, the status would be decision pending. The system will know, right, put this person into the decision pending nurture journey and what that looks like is wait two days and now send this person an email that says seven essential things you need to know before you sell your house. And then wait another seven days and send them another piece of content. Wait seven days and send them another piece of content. If it goes past a month, they'll switch over into a long-term nurture journey where we will email them something once a month for about a year. 
And there's a third nurture journey which we build off the shelf for agents, which is if you change the status to they instructed another estate agent, then on each of those pieces of content that gets sent out, there's a link that says, what shall I do if I'm not happy with my current agent? If they click to read that, it will send you a notification to say, found this guy's not happy with his agent. So we, we're building out processes in the business so that you're not so reliant on whether that person is great at closing someone on the valuation, whether it's Joe doing the valuation or you doing the valuation. The processes are in place now. So you know that when the vendor says, I'm going to have a think about it, it's not that much of a problem for you. You're going to have more touch points than anybody else. You're going to stay in contact with them forever. Um, and whenever they are active, you're going to get notifications to call them. So you never truly lose a valuation again, even if they go with another agent. You, they, you never actually lose it. We charge 299 to set up the, the process. Uh, we brand up all of the market appraisal presentation so that it's all in the company brand. We build all of the email templates. We build all of the nurture programs. We set up all of the notifications. We basically build out everything that I just explained so that you don't have to start learning how to use an entire marketing automation system. When it comes to training, we just give you a web demo. You can get as many people in it as you want and we show you how to add valuations. Real simple stuff. And then each month you pay £248 a month and that £248 a month is made up of two of our products, two separate products. £99 a month you're paying for our bait tool which makes the presentations and you can have up to 500 live presentations. And £149 a month you're paying for our Fragra marketing automation system which is the big beast of a system that sits at the middle of everything. And that you can have one to, uh, zero to 2,000 contacts in for £149 a month. So that's what makes up the £248 a month. We don't have any long contracts. Um, you, you can give 30 days notice if you ever need to. So we've, we've tried to kind of make level one a bit of a, well, why wouldn't I as opposed to why would I situation. And the company can come on board. They haven't got to spend millions of pounds to try it out. And the proof will be in the pudding as to whether it works or not. And then our job as a business will be to get that implemented to make sure it's working, to make sure there's user adoption, to make sure everybody loves it, you can see the return on investment. Okay guys, if you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you really enjoy using the tool and can see the benefits of it. If you have any issues whatsoever, you've got an account manager, you can speak to them straight away. Don't feel silly about asking them the questions a million times, that's what they're there for. Even if you want to talk to me, that's fine. Just drop me an email, connect with me on Facebook. You'll find me, my name is Mark Burgess. Happy to talk to any of you at any time. Thanks guys.